Now get out of my way. Hello, welcome to G Cinema. Is Loki Season 3 happening? Loki producer Kevin Wright gave MCU fans an update on whether Tom Hiddleston's hit Disney Plus show could move ahead into Season 3. Disney initially started producing MCU shows on Disney Plus with the plan to focus on limited series running for only one or two seasons. This strategy has now been adjusted to produce more multi-season serialized TV shows that will run several seasons. And while Loki was only initially planned for a two-season story, Wright still believes that a season 3 is on the table, even telling fans that he would love to keep telling stories with this team, given the opportunity. Before it don't forget to subscribe. Will there be a Loki season 3? Loki producer Kevin Wright spoke with Flynn about the possibility of the show moving into season 3, following season 2's conclusion in November 2023. While he doesn't want to rush into a season 3 if the story isn't good, he sees an opportunity to continue the adventures, whether it be in a specific third season of Loki or a spin-off akin to Breaking Bad's Better Call Saul. For two seasons, I've loved working with this team I would love to keep telling those stories with them in this world. I don't think any of us would ever want to rush into a season 3 if there's not a good story to tell. But I think this team could go off and tell other stories. Maybe it's not Loki season 3. Maybe there's something we can continue to do at the TVA. And it's like our better call Saul to Loki's Breaking Bad. That would be cool to me. However, Wright also made it clear that he doesn't know the future of these characters and the MCU, telling the outlet that his early ideas for Loki season 3 are him, saying what he would love to do with new episodes. The producer does feel that he'll have plenty of other filmmakers wanting to join him in telling more Loki stories, considering how people have really enjoyed this story. But I have to think, with how people have really enjoyed this story, that other filmmakers are going to want to come in and continue to tell stories in this world. That would be my hope. While there were no specific conversations about whether Loki season 2 would be Hiddleston's exit from the MCU, he explained what was talked about, and this was in season 1, as well was, let's treat this like it's it. Approaching it in this way forced everybody involved to bring their best, should it be the only opportunity they got to build something, so they went into it to make this as fulfilling as possible. That isn't because we want to end the story, but it forces all the filmmakers involved to bring their best. If this is the only opportunity we get to work together to build something, let's make this as fulfilling as possible. And if there is more to tell down the road, we can do it. Where could Loki return in the MCU? Looking ahead to Marvel's plans for upcoming Disney Plus series, it's clear that the studio intends to change course and give their characters more room to shine over multiple season arcs. And while series like WandaVision are already confirmed to stay one season endeavors, that idea will not be one considered nearly as often for heroes that have a chance for years of growth through multiple seasons of adventures. As for Loki, even with the former god of mischief now stationed at the end of time, holding countless timelines together, there is no way to definitively say he's finished his run in the MCU. 2024's Deadpool 3 is said to utilize the multiverse more than any MCU movie to date. And with Owen Wilson rumored to join the party as Mobius, Loki could be brought into the story to help explain things to Marvel Studios' newest anti-hero. On top of that, Avengers. The Kang Dynasty in Avengers. Secret Wars could give Loki even more of a path toward redemption, giving the Avengers any insight he can on Kang the Conqueror. Should he still be the ultimate big bad? Thank you for watching this video.